everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome to my channel for another video. So today I'm sharing with you the start of a new series here on this channel. It's something I've wanted to do for a while and I thought I would start here. I'm sharing with you my long hair favorites as far as products go and then a few of my favorite hairstyles for when my hair is long. This video has been highly requested and so I'm really excited to bring it to you today. If you enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that you're excited for the next hair favorites videos that I'm going to be doing over this next year. I'm actually going to be getting my hair cut about eight to 10 inches and donating a lot of it. And so I thought that this would be a wonderful chance to start out this series and give you one last look at the long hair that I have. And if you came here to this channel because you were looking for hair inspiration or a video like this one, but you also enjoy lifestyle videos, motherhood videos, videos about self-improvement and intentional living, then you're in the right place please subscribe if you haven't done so already hit the bell button so you don't miss when I post a new video I make lifestyle and motherhood videos over here on this channel every week I post every Monday and I have a lot more in store for you guys I am totally a long hair girl I've had long hair most of my life on a couple of different occasions the hair has been chopped and I've enjoyed that as well so I hope you guys enjoy this first one in my new series and let's hop into it all right so today I am going to mainly be sharing with you the texture that I put into my hair for whatever style I choose for that day. My favorite texture on my hair is soft, loose waves. You have seen it so many times before, and I've actually shared this method before, but I kind of wanted it in its own separate video. So I've been using the same method for years and years, and that's what I'm sharing with you today. Before I do anything, however, I like to use this Orlando Pita Play Atmos Shield Heat Protection Spray. This adds a bit of shine to my hair while protecting it from whatever heat I use on it and just so you know this and all the other products and tools I'm using in this video will be linked in the description box in case you want to check anything out for yourself. My hair was still a bit damp from my shower earlier today, so I used my Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler. I love this hair tool. It's completely replaced my traditional hair dryer. I find it less damaging to my hair and it leaves it so soft and tangle free while drying it at the same time. I'm going to spritz a bit more of that heat protectant now that I'm moving on to using my curling iron and this is an old favorite. You've seen it so many times before. This is my Conair Hot Tools 1 inch basic curling iron. It's really an affordable option and does a great job at adding some beautiful soft waves to my hair. The step that makes the most difference, and I've shared this before, is brushing each strand of hair that I section out really, really well before going in to curl it. And today I'm using a new favorite of mine. This is the best hairbrush I have ever used. This is the Paddle Brush by Kristen S. I found this in Target and it is amazing, especially for long, thick hair. When I brush my hair out before curling it, it helps every piece of hair in that section lay the same way Way while being set with the heat. It results in really silky smooth waves that don't snarl very easily. So I usually start by clasping the barrel of the curling iron about two thirds of the way up this section of hair and curling it away from my face. Because my hair has gotten so long, I have to spend a little extra time loosening the strand and drawing the barrel down and then continuing to curl as I go lower. But I'm not gonna take that curl too low, however. One of the ways that I achieve a wavy and tousled look is by taking the barrel down and straightening the last two or three inches of the strand. You'll see me doing that same process over my whole head, brushing, curling, moving down the strand, and then straightening the ends. Thank you. 
Another thing that really helps my curls turn out the best and last a long time is letting them fully set before breaking them up or brushing through them. You'll notice I won't use any setting products like mousses or hairsprays or gels and I was able to cut these products out of my routine once I discovered the trick of letting my hair completely cool before brushing it all out. There is one more product, however, that I like to use, and that's the Batiste Brunette Dry Shampoo. I spray a bit of this around the roots of my hair to add some oomph and to keep oil at bay. I also add a spritz to the underside of my hair above the nape of my neck, and then I fill in any thinner patches around my face with the brunette pigment in the spray. This came in really handy, especially when I was dealing with postpartum hair loss a couple years ago. Next, I'm going to show you a couple of hairstyles that I like to use with this loose wave texture in my hair. First off is to keep it all down, but put a tiny braid on the shallow side of my deep part. I just secure the end of the braid with one bobby pin and I keep this small French style braid pretty sloppy, honestly. I think it gives kind of a boho look to the style, but having this side of my hair up actually cleans up the perimeter of my face and adds a bit more structure to an otherwise really simple style. The next style is one that I use all the time as a mom to keep my hair out of my face, but still let it be long. I love a good ponytail style, and for this one, I am keeping that little side braid on there, and then just taking a bit of hair from like the back top part of my head, whatever this part of my head is called, and I'm gently back combing it just to add a bit of volume and take it from looking like I just threw my hair tie in my hair to having a bit more style into a basic ponytail. These three styles and these tools and products have been my favorite for my long hair and I'm really curious to see once my hair is short how that will change and what products or tools or styles I will end up gravitating toward. Well, that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it, seeing the products and the tools that I have been enjoying using for my long hair and then also seeing the process that I go through for the texture and the different styles that I put together. Take one last look because this is all getting chopped off tomorrow in my time tomorrow. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but it's just hair. My hair actually grows really fast. I'm very blessed about that. And I am so blessed to be able to donate my hair and raise a bit of awareness for childhood cancer. So I have more information in the description box if you guys wanna get on board and contribute or learn about what I'm doing. I know my hair specifically maybe won't make that much of a difference, but I know that together we can make even more of a difference. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you're at. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you later.